Hi friends, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and it is time for another monthly, monthly favourites? Are we back in Beauty Guru 2016? No. Monthly, what is this called? Plan out lineup video. So, I have my kits picked out for June and I will be sharing them with you guys of course, so you know the format of this video. I am super excited to get into winter which is June for me. Aside from my two holiday spreads, so Disney and Hawaii, I have just felt really uninspired by autumn slash fall this year, which if you know me is really, really uncharacteristic because autumn is my favorite season to plan. The colors, like I, orange is my favorite color, so obviously it speaks for itself, but I just haven't really been feeling it. So I've got some killer spreads lined up for, um, winter and I'm really really excited to get into those. So first week is technically the 30th of May through the 5th of June um, and this is my transition kit even though the week after then is like a totally different theme but that is okay. <laughs> so transitioning from autumn to winter and I thought this was a really good kit to do so because of the colors and obviously the art is like very cozy themed but then you've got like this burgundy it's probably more of like a purple burgundy rather than like a red burgundy but to me burgundy is an autumn color so you're kind of moving from autumn to like the deeper darker like black and then I associate with like this color of cream with winter so I don't know I just thought it fit the bill nicely. Um, I really, now that I think about it, I feel like I haven't seen this artist bring out new art in a while. And I hope she's one, okay, two, stu still doing art because she was quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, and this art is no exception. So the version I picked up was um, last, sorry, it was from Caress Press and she called it last chapter. So I'll quickly flip through. Um, full boxes are beautiful. As I mentioned, these colors are just stunning. Like, I just love them. Uh, oops, pick that up. This may be a color block week for me because I generally don't love, um, although I love the black contrast, I don't really love using it in kits because it's so hard to write on. So I might end up color blocking that week. For extras, I have the 15mm, of course, because it is this beautiful burgundy colour. We've got the extra full boxes, which, hold on a minute, are you serious? Those are all new boxes, and I am obsessed with all four of them. Um, right off the bat, I can see that these two boxes don't really inspire me, and neither does this one. So that's at least three I can pull in right away. And then I'm going to have to find somehow to pull in this like four because these are cuter than the boxes in the kit. And then you've got this really cute double like tall box, which I also really enjoy. So that is the kit. And then I'll show you with the colors. So I am pulling in silver. I have this bundle, which I would have got from a past mystery kit because I don't love this format and I wouldn't have picked it up on my own. But since I have it, we're going to use it. And I just think silver is going to pop off these colors really nicely, but without, I don't want the foil in this kit to be the hit. I want the colors and the art to be. So I think silver is going to pop nicely, but also it's not going to overwhelm. So um, you've got the bundle here, nothing new, nothing exciting. And then um, I am matching that with coffee underlays from Planner Henna. So these ones I've chosen are like the menu. So well, I guess not really the, I th not really the menu. More so like, so you've got Cappuccino, mocha, Americano, like all the different types of coffee, that's what the words say. Which I understand once you put it down and you put stuff on top, you're not really going to be able to see that. But I think it's a really nice touch and I will know that that is like the coffee words. So, I don't know, I just, I was drawn to this, I thought it would be a really cool touch. So, that's what we're going to do. So that's week one. Next we move on to... 
the 6th to the 12th and you guys already know what's coming if you know me. I have never used, actually no I lied to you, I've only ever used a pop culture kit once and that was the Twilight kit and I didn't get to use it at the time frame that I wanted. So this is the time when I am finally using like a movie slash pop culture kit and I am so ready for it. So it is the Jurassic Park kit because of course Jurassic World Dominion comes out on the 10th and again this week is the 6th to the 13th. Um, I already have purchased my ticket so I'll be seeing it Thursday after work and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, oh I'm just so ready. Actually I'm going to pull this in. I had this to my side. So this is my bucket list from Carly Plan so I'm going to pull that in. Um, this is the reef format. I believe I don't have the original. So you've got like the car, obviously the Barbasol and the torch um, you've, that Lex uses to like, <laughs> you can, she can see the T-Rex. Um, then I have the obviously like visitor and the walkie talkie that um, like Laura Dern grabs the flare. You've got like the Velociraptor, the um, raincoat that Nedry wears the T-Rex and then the cup of course like you can't not and then the eggs um oh you must have got the amber I didn't notice that just before um and then the extra full boxes you've got the Jurassic Park sign and then like Ali or Laura Dern so I cannot wait to see the originals back <laughs> Dr. Alan Grant is like my fucking hero and I cannot wait to see him back and then obviously Malcolm like I just, I have literally not been this excited for a movie since fucking, like, Twilight. Like, I am a fangirl and I'm okay with that. So, anyway, let's get back to it. These are the colours of the kit. Love them so much. It really screams, like, rainforest, which makes sense. Um, I just, I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm, like, a fucking 16-year-old again. And then the bottom washi is the only thing I'm not 100% sure of. I feel like I don't know where this comes from. Like, it just does not really match the kit at all to me. Um, but, oh, I have the 15mm. I think I'm going to pull in a, a Simply Gilded because it's just a little too much for me. I don't mind it in the day covers and I don't mind it with, like, a quote over the top. But it's a little much for me in a bottom washi, so... Anyway, I have the 15mm, I have the extra colour, which was the freebie, which is this like brown colour, which I think I'm going to pull in to kind of neutralise it a little bit. So, got that. And then, you know what colour I'm going to be using. There's no other choice for me. It had to be red. Um... So my base is going to be this old sparkly red bundle. Um, I am also going to pull in some leftovers of... I've done like a few sparkly red spreads recently and I have some um, like leftovers. So I'm also going to pull those in. Um, so I've got the circle icons, which is my favourite page. I've got the little deco bits, the food, and then these um, like old school overlays, which... To be honest, I'm pretty much just going to use the headers. I'm not really going to use the overlays, the cutout icons, scripts, and then the bottom washi. And then I have um, these overlays from Planner Hannah in Dino One. Um, and this is more of like a flat matte. It's actually, it's not. It's probably like a satin, I would say, red. Um, so you've got the Jurassic Park original symbol. The Brachiosaurus, the like scratch mark, T-Rex, the tree, I don't know what that dinosaur is, um, like claws and then the T-Rex, not the T-Rex, the, what's it called? Triceratops skeleton. And then I also have the bundle, the Dominion bundle from Happy Sticker Designs in red. This is definitely more of a shiny red. I don't know if you can see the difference, um, but... I'm kind of using three different red textures. So I've got sparkly, I've got this like matte satin red, and then I've got glossy red. So it's probably under a normal week, it's way too much, but I am willing to forgive and forget because it's Jurassic Park week. 
Um, so you get your overlays, um, the kind of confetti. This one says Jurassic Park, so similar to the, oh, the same as this. Um, you've got the pterodactyl and then the tree, and then this one is the more velociraptor looking box. You've got the headers, which I'm definitely using, the bottom washi, which I'm definitely using. So I have enough foil for a month of Jurassic Park, but I am just going to go way overboard and make it so worth it. So, oh, also, I forgot. Um, I'm pulling in the Dino Underlays in gold from Planner Hannah. Um, just to kind of bring it back down a little bit. Um, I could have gone red, but then I feel like it would have been like a Christmas tree and too much. I mean, it's already too much, don't get me wrong, but like too, too much. <laughs> so I've gone gold to kind of just bring it back down a little bit. And then I'll also be able to bring in like gold scripts and that sort of thing. So it's not as crazy overwhelming red so that's Jurassic week let me know if you're using this kit as well I know Elisa is and I know Sam is anyone else let me know if we're gonna be twins and I want to talk to you about it so that's Jurassic week then we move on to winter which is so exciting so as you could probably tell um, my first week as I said is transition and then Jurassic's kind of an outlier, but then we're transitioning into winter. So, my first winter kit is a tried and true classic. Um, I do one of the, at least one of these every year. It is a winter cabin theme. This one from Glam Planner is so good. It's so chic, it's so modern. It's Celeste Studio. What more could I want? It's got an olive green in it. I'm happy so love 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 this um, these are the full boxes I don't use these um, love the black and the green contrast that is just such a fun mix I love that the green just brings in that like the what's it called like the not the tree branches like the nature kind of side of it and then you've got like the brown I feel like L always makes color choices that make sense to me. Other shops, I often am like, why would you choose those colors? Like that just does not make sense in my brain. But I feel like L gets me and I get, like it just makes sense. The green pulls in the nature, the beige and the, I guess brown and beige bring in like the tones of the couch and the walls and the architecture and the black brings in the sharp tones of like the fireplace and the blanket and like I just it makes sense to me I don't know how to describe it but I'm gonna stop because this video is gonna be an hour long if I'm not careful and I only have half uh, 20 minutes worth of memory card space left <laughs> so I need to hurry up but I just love this I love the woolen blanket like you've got the woolen blanket detail and then like the fur blanket and I just I maybe will color block this too because the black's one color. Are you kidding me? She is gorgeous. Um, I might actually use for the first time the black haired girl because at the moment I have black hair. We'll see, but I do really love her. Obviously using this. Are they the same skin tone? Almost. And then that again. So, love. Love, 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 love. Then I have the double box, which I'm a million thousand percent using. This bedroom is beautiful. And then it is the older mystery kit format. So you get the glitter headers and the label sampler included. I am bringing in some older um, snowflake. When I say older, I mean from not like this winter just gone, but the one before. Oh, actually, sorry. This came with the kit. I'm a thousand percent using these trees. I'm then going to bring in um, one of these snowflakes as the other washi. I'm not really sure which one. And then actually I will probably use the solid snowflakes for the bottom washi. And then I'll use the confetti over the top of the deco because it looks like snow is falling on the deco. Then I've got these snow globe um, date numbers, some overlays with snowflakes, some headers with snowflakes, and then some frames. I then have the Elsa snowflake underlays from Planet Henna. 
Love, 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 love that. That is starting off winter with a bang. And then my, did I say that's the week of the 13th through the 19th? And then my last week of June before we get into July, which will be another video, is kind of the exact opposite. So I've gone from neutral toned winter to bright in your face winter. And that was a planned thing. I knew I wanted to, I have a couple of brighter winter kits this year and I kind of wanted to space them in so that it wasn't all like neutral snow winter. So this is called Alpine Snow from Caress Press. I really loved this art. It was the traditional ski sort of chalet, which we've seen quite a few times, but I really liked the take on this because the colors are so unique and fun. So You've got two scenes, which is not my favourite, but I will make it work. And then look at this. Like, this is so unexpected and fun. And I just, I mean, not to brag, but I really think I have the perfect foil combination. And I just think this is going to be such a fun contrast from the really beautiful, elegant Celise art to then this, like, really fun, bright winter art. So... That's the kit. I don't have any extras. That's kind of weird. Oh, yes, I do. They're hiding. Um, I have a 15mm, and that's it. Is that right? Yes. So this is the one that comes with the kit. And then I have this one that was from a different kit that I purchased, and I never ended up using it. But it's like the pink with the snowflake overlay. So I thought, like, come on, that kind of matches perfectly. Maybe I'll use this one. Maybe I won't. But it's in there in case. Then I have some bits and bobs. My, I guess, base foil is going to be this bundle from SPC. It is... I don't think it's a foil that I've used before. Because it's sparkly pink, but it's got a very heavy, heavy purple undertone. And I haven't used that before, so... Um, ugh, it's all out of order too. So circle icons, that's the best way to see the foil. Then I've got like the, the food. I don't need to turn that upside down. And the little confetti bits. And then I've got these overlay pages, scripts, icons, and then the bottom washi. And then I'll be mixing this with some, oh, I also have the extra box. I didn't see that. I'll be mixing this with hollow. So I've got the hollow snowflake bottom washi. I've got the headers, the frames, and then the quotes. And then I am pulling in the frosty oval underlays in hot pink or bright pink or I don't know the exact color, but it's hot pink to me. And that is going to be an extremely <laughs> over-the-top week. So, that is it for my June lineup. So, to recap, um, I've taken the full box pages out because I will take a photo for the thumbnail. We've got last chapter. Oops, that's out of focus, sorry. We've got last chapter from Caress Press. We've got Jurassic. We've got... I feel like this was a mystery of some description, the winter mystery maybe. And then we've got from Glam Planner, and then we've got Alpine Snow from Caress Press. And that is everything for my June lineup. I mean, I would say what's my most exciting kit? It's obviously Jurassic Park. Please let me know if you are also using it. I need to talk with you. But otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.